Hi and good day. Uh, nice to talk to you today. My name is Dara Oladapo. And today I was tasked to talk to you on a topic called uh, leveraging on the internet for a successful career. Uh, I think I'll just start by telling you a story of myself when I got into tech and how the internet helped me and I hope it inspires somebody today. Um, at about 2002, was it 2002? I think so. I uh, went to the cyber cafe with my brothers, then to open our first email address. Uh, that, that was practically the first time I appeared on computer. We opened our first email. It was actually a giant email. Um, then some years after, my mom got us a desktop in the house. Uh, so what I would do, because we had no internet in the house, was that the, there were cyber cafes around the house. So I think then it was 15 naira for 30 minutes or 35 minutes or so. Then what I would do is I would save my allowance to school and then after school I would go to the cyber cafe and then there was this 3.5 inch diskettes I would take the cyber cafe to save web pages of Wikipedia documents then go to cyber cafe save the documents and then come back home to read up on them and then that went on for some months years and so on um, and then also there was this funny program um, I have his book on teaches typing uh, it's actually I'm typing a lot I'm not sure if you people of nowadays know that software, but it was a fun software that I used to learn how to type and all that. But beyond that, for me, it was a curious experience. I wanted to know what was behind this because growing up, I've always wanted to know stuff behind electronics. There are times I would get electrocuted, uh, I would pieces uh, our radio machine, then, and then, well, I wasn't punished for it, lucky for me. Uh, but. I'm not sure you should try that. Uh, so it sparked my interest in electronics, computers, and all that. And then seeing this computer, I wanted to know what was behind it. Uh, well, then I used to think writing software was English. You computer do this, and then blah, 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 it happens. But as it turns out, every night when my brothers had gone to sleep, what would happen is that I would stay back. After the boy had gone to sleep, I would stay up to like 2, 3. Uh, to just play around the computer. I knew not what I was doing. I must be honest with you. So I'll just be playing around. The, uh, it, I think the system then was running Windows uh, 2000. 2000? Yeah, 2095. Uh, then I would just go around, play around the computer. Then when I got tired, I would just go to sleep. Well, sometimes I watch movies, so don't tell anyone about that. Uh, so as time went on, I got so much attracted to the computer that I basically couldn't stay away from it. Uh, well, before I met the computers, I had wanted to be a farmer or a policeman, uh, but my encounter with computers changed that for me, and I just wanted to know what was behind all the computing stuff. Then much later uh, in life, uh, when I was about to finish secondary school, I was like, okay, I think I like this computer stuff. I would like to explore what was behind it. Then, even before I gained admission, then there was this Nokia 6120, I think, uh, that my dad brought home. And then I would uh, use the little money I had to get internet on it. Uh, there was this um, there was this site then, is it WAP Mobi? That I used to download some books and programming. I would just read it up, even though I didn't understand what I was reading. I know I was going to study computer science, so I just downloaded the books and started reading them, not understanding what I actually was reading. Uh, then I got to admission to Futa. Then um, what happened basically was uh, I would well I had become a night night hole by then, so night time sleeping was not a very easy thing for me to do. So I would stay up late, uh, where after lectures and all that then. I would just be on the internet surfing, reading programming stuff, tech stuff, computer stuff. Uh, and then I would stumble upon some lessons. I'll try it out myself. Uh, amazingly, when people write code, they say their first program was Hello World. Because of my curiosity, instead of writing Hello World, my first program was not Hello World. What I did was, uh, I think my first language that I actually wrote and ran was VB6. Then, uh, so I put an image and a button somewhere, and then I click it, and then something popped up to me. Oh, it wasn't Hello World 2. I think I can say my first program was not Hello World. Uh, well, that's just by the way. Uh, so that sparked my interest quite a lot. Then a friend uh, introduced me to Microsoft Visual Studio then uh, with C Sharp. So I started learning how to write in C Sharp. 
uh, then I started writing, writing, writing. Then it became more fun for me. I started writing Windows Form apps. Then I was getting to 200 level around that time. So what happened was that uh, I got involved in fellowship work and all that. So I wrote an app for my fellowship to read confessions. I like there was this confession that people just read out of the paper, so it was easy to get missing. So I just wrote an app for it, and then I was installing it for people. But amazingly, most of the stuff I knew in programs today were not taught in school. I just went on the internet, searched for, okay, I want to achieve this with C Sharp. How do I do it? Then, then go on Stack Overflow, Google stuff. Even though then I didn't like much of Google, but now I can see Google stuff. Well, Google little me get away. Uh, so, uh... I would just go search. I would do one thing. I would search for it on the internet, then come back, implement now. Wow, it will work. Then fine. Sometimes it wouldn't work. I would be stuck for weeks and stuff. But it was fun uh, because I was getting to explore a whole lot more than I actually bargained for. Then it became kind of part of me. Like uh, <laughs> I would almost use all my allowance, more like 60% of it, to buy internet subscription then. Just to be able to stay online, and then I will be drinking Gary <laughs> for the rest of the month. Uh, well, I didn't regret it. <laughs> I can say that for sure for now because it actually paid off uh, for me. I would download stuff. I'll go to Cyber Cafe in the school, download stuff on my hard drive, then then come back to the hostel to read it. I will explore a lot of things. Many times I would crash my computer, restore stuff in it. Uh, but in the final end, it made me a better tech. Well, I don't want to call myself tech, a better techie, uh, in a way. So, of course, yeah, I can write code, but there's some other stuff I can do in tech. Of course, if you ask me questions about networking, cloud, these, even languages I'm not C-sharp, I can answer you a bit of almost everything you ask me. But that doesn't mean I'm an expert in that. But what, I, what I've been able to use the internet to do is to be able to explore all these things and see for myself the beauty of it. Uh, today... Most of my major focus in tech is DevOps and Azure Platform as a Service. I must confess to you, I did not read a special book or go to one special training center to learn about these things. It was just merely going on the internet. And then it's my expertise. Now, so that I'm known for any question about DevOps, Caldera, about Azure App Services, Caldera. So I would say, yeah, the internet is a whole lot of help for me. And then it's helped me connect with a lot of people that I actually look up to that I have not had the opportunity to meet physically. But in a way, they inspire me. Um, I know someday I'll meet some of them, God willing. Uh, but it's just a whole big world there. Uh, you never know where your reach can actually, uh, where you can actually reach on the internet uh, with getting the right profile out there. And one thing I'll advise most people to say is mind what you put on the internet. Yeah, it's fun to put stuff out there all the time, uh, but those become the things you get known for. Say, for example, uh, you're applying for a job, and then you've been posting stuff, bad, probably bad news about some company, and then the recruiter Googles you and then finds stuff like that. Because what you tend to what you post most online is what will come up as the first few search results, where your name is Googled or Bing. But why not make it somewhat better even if you're just asking intelligent questions online on forums on twitter facebook any social media you're on ask intelligent questions questions you're not stuck on one thing i i i um i try not to do this this is when folks ask me questions uh i read questions these days in the past it used to be like okay you ask me a question yeah yeah i jump and answer you but today i'll read your question okay i think if I do a 15 minute search on Google, I can be able to solve this problem. So I would advise you go ahead and search for it yourself. It will make you better one. And then it will not waste my time because that 15 minutes, it's well, today I like money. So 15 minutes is enough to make some kind of money for me. So I wouldn't waste my time answering questions. You can easily find the answers to with a 15 minute uh, intelligent search. Um, so that about that. I'd, yeah. So my whole point is the internet is just a whole lot of uh, possibilities that you might not even know you have access to. For example, I have <laughs> I have close to five thousand friends on Facebook. I can tell you for sure 
I'm not sure I can I can say I know 2,000 out of them by their names if I met them. But I got some conferences, made up and stuff, and people like, hey, there, I know you from Facebook. I'm like, okay, nice. Uh, so maybe I'm, I've inspired them. Maybe they've inspired me in one way or the other. There are people that we actually communicate online, and we've never met face-to-face. -face. We've done contracts online. We've met and stuff like that. It's just so cool. Um, there are referrals that can actually be made for you. For people you've never met, but just by being online and be a responsible internet user, you can get such opportunities. You never know. So, uh, with this few points of mine, <laughs> I hope I have not confused you and I've been able to convince you that uh, the internet is a whole lot of endless opportunities you can use to explore and expand your career opportunities. Uh, there are a lot of freelance jobs out there, remote jobs. Uh, and even job postings that you can find online, improving your skill, for example, I'm most online 24-7, searching for answers to questions I'm getting stuck on. And I get those answers just because I, I'm persistent in searching through. Sometimes you don't actually need someone to answer those questions. So you just go online, search for those questions, you get the answers. And sometimes it's even finding those answers that you get to realize you you have better answers than what someone else might have proposed, then you post it back online to help the community. So thanks very much. If you have any questions, you can Google me on Bing. I am Daryl Ladder for everywhere. Thank you.